I just want to start off by saying this is my first time I've ever built a computer. I had no idea what parts were in a computer, how they all connected or anything like that. So this was a new experience for me. At the end of the video, I'll show you how I found the components I would need for the build and what components were compatible with each other. I hope this will influence you whether or not to build a computer on your own. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna hold up. Alright, so I just received all my shipments. Uh, let's go ahead and open it and see what we got. First, we got our Intel i7 processor, 1080 graphics card, Asus motherboard, 250GB solid state drive, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 2TB hard drive. And I got this matte white computer tower case by NZXT. So let's see what it comes with. Here's a little box. Comes with some connections and a manual. How to take it apart. We're going to be using that later. Now let's take off the side panel and install the motherboard. First we have to put the panel on the case for the motherboard I.O. ports. Once we've done that we can set up the motherboard. So here are the three main ports. We have the CPU slot, the RAM slot, and the GPU slot. First let's start with the CPU. When handling a CPU, it's important to only hold it by the edges of the chip. So first we're going to lift this lever, and that brings up the panel. We're going to put this in, take off that little plastic piece if you used it, put down the cover, and slide this underneath. You'll see that the little plastic top will just pop right off. Again, I'll show you from a different angle. It's going to slide right under this screw, and you put it right under the lever. Next, we're going to install the RAM. Here you can see there's a little notch in the RAM stick and that's going to line up perfectly with this little notch on the motherboard. Next we're going to pop these two levers open, then we can line up the notch and push it in. And the lever will snap in place. Do it with the second one, there you go. Now let's put the motherboard into the case. Push it into the panel, like so. You can see all of our different ports here. And now I'm going to screw in the motherboard to the case. Now here's the power supply I chose. I chose a gold 80 plus 750 watt gold power supply. Um, I wanted to make sure I could keep up with all the components I was using. As you can see the case is pretty nice so it is a nice power supply. Not too expensive though. So now to get ready to put this power supply in, I'm going to take off the back panel that exposes all the wires. If you turn it around you can see all the connection ports for it and all the wires are labeled so I'm just going to put them all in even though I might not use them. I'll just take the ones out I'm not using. <coughs> now I'm going to take off the power supply panel and slide in all the wires and then slide in the power supply. Once that's in I can put the panel back on screwing it into the power supply back to hold it in place. Now let's set up the front panel of the tower. Here are the wires for it, USB 2 and the LEDs for the button. Basically I'm going to be plugging in the HD audio, USB 2 and the blue connector next to my phone is the USB 3.1. Now we're going to connect the power for the, the ATX power for the motherboard. We have the long one there and then the four prong one here. Everything's notched so it should fit in. Um, only one way. Next we're going to install the solid state drive and hard drive. So here you can see me sliding in the hard drive to the slot. Looks like you, there's room for a few of them. I'm going to screw it in on the side. And plug in my SATA cables. The other ends of them go into the motherboard. Next I'm going to install the solid state drive, so I'm going to take off this little panel here, place the solid state drive on it. Here we can line up the screw holes, put the screws in, and plug in the SATA cable into this as well, and put it back in place. And put that little screw back in. And that one's all set too. Now I'm going to set up the fans and the cooler for the processor. 
I ended up getting a liquid cooler that actually came as a package with the Intel processor. I started by putting in the backplate for it on the motherboard. Here's the pad for the cooler and then the fans. Now I popped off the front cover and that's where the fans are going to be going. I lined it up with the holes and put in the screws necessary to hold it on. Here it is mostly installed. I'm going to wait to install the graphics card before I install it fully. Alright, so here's the GPU slot uh, for your graphics card. All you need to do to get this ready is take off this little cap. That'll expose the connections. Next, line up the slot and take off two of these little panels to make room for the graphics card to fit into the PC. We're going to need to take off two for this one. Next, we're going to take our graphics card, flip it over, and slide it into the slot. You should hear a click when it gets in there completely. There we go. Now let's put on the side panel to fit it back together. And here it is all assembled together with the liquid cooler on there. Now we just have to make one more connection for the graphics card, tuck it in there, and we're all set. Okay, now for the moment of truth, let's power it on. And there you go. Alright, let's put the glass back on the PC case and get it set up. I tried my best to organize the wires in the back even though they weren't going to be seen um, because of the side cover we're going to put on. Alright, now let's go set it up on my desk and see how it looks. Now I used a website called userbenchmark.com. If you click on build, It'll walk you through all the components needed to set up a computer. Uh, so a CPU, GPU, SSD, hard drive, RAM, and motherboard are the main components. Um, and then it tells you things like uh, whether things aren't compatible or not. So say we take away this Intel Core with an Asus motherboard and put in a AMD. Um, here it'll say it's incompatible and that you need to replace the CPU with something that is compatible. Next it has stats like benchmark, which will tell you the performance. Um, value which is performance versus cost up top is your virtual benchmarks and then finally your price on the right with a total another cool feature is if you click the price of each component it'll actually show you where you can buy it and for how much and that's about it so it really wasn't that hard to build a computer um, this is my first time so I wasn't really familiar with the components and everything like that and using that website was really a huge help when trying to put a computer together I honestly had a lot of fun putting it together. I learned so much just from doing it myself, um, but it wasn't a huge task to undertake, and I think anybody who is looking to do something like this can definitely do it with only just a few days of uh, research. If you're interested in seeing the monitor I use, I also made another video of that, which I linked in the description. Um, and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.